A trail extension on Sullivan's Island is paving the way for mixed feelings among those who live nearby. Our Caitlin Ashbaugh now joins us to share the thoughts that homeowners had on a plan that they feel was miscommunicated. Caitlin, what can you tell us? Hey Justin, well the neighbors who spoke at that meeting last night, they say they felt like the recent construction for this trail, it came without warning, despite the town saying that they felt they gave them plenty of notice. These sights and sounds of reality from the lighthouse all the way to Fort Moultrie. So this trail has been used um, informally for, for decades by dog walkers, by birders, by nature lovers who've just been sort of traversing through but the skinny from many along Atlantic and Ion Avenue is that this construction came as a shock. These complaints were sent into the town yesterday. Residential privacy, the impact of coyote and wildlife habitats within community concerns. Town Administrator Joe Henderson told me off camera he believes this project had, quote, ample opportunities for public comment since its introduction. Every town council meeting has opportunity for public comments. You know, could there have been better communication from the town when the construction was about to begin? Yes, of course. I mean, they could have they could have said, hey, we're about to start this great project next week and, and just be notified that you're going to start seeing these signs and we're going to start constructing the trail. The project is now in phase two, which includes clearing the area and adding in benches and signs. Henderson says the trail was introduced as an idea back in 2022 and then in 2023. He claims workers were able to salvage a wide majority of the maritime forest in clearing the area. The goal is to mimic the look of existing trails at low impact, connecting stations 16 and 18.5, making it ADA accessible. I think that people will understand what an important natural resource this protected land is because it's highly valuable, but it'll never be developed because it's more valuable as a natural resource. Well, despite the excitement from some, as you just saw, people who are against the plan, they're asking for a pause on it. But the town says as of today, they're still planning on this project to be complete by the end of July and then open to the public in August. Reporting live on Sullivan's Island, Caitlin Ashbaugh, Live 5 News.